In Great Britain, there are physical limitations to the way that electricity can flow from one region to another. Several major transmission lines have limits on how much power can flow through them. These are called boundaries. These limits lead to transmission constraints. Boundaries can become constrained when the power wanting to flow through the boundary is greater than its capacity. The ESO takes action to manage these constraints through the balancing mechanism. This means where a battery is located can impact how it operates and how much revenue it generates. This map shows where batteries in Great Britain are located in relation to the major transmission boundaries. Batteries can be used to manage constraints by being bid down in regions where supply is too high in order to absorb excess generation. They can also be offered up in regions where demand is too high in order to increase supply. In some regions, batteries will be used more often for bids, while in other regions, they will be used more often for offers. This map shows how batteries in Great Britain are used in the balancing mechanism by looking at the ratio of total dispatched bid volume compared to the total capacity of batteries registered to the balancing mechanism in a particular region. Batteries in the north of Scotland see much higher utilisation for bids. This is due to the high level of wind generation capacity with batteries used for constraint management. On the other hand, looking at the same map for offers, we can see that batteries in Wales, the Midlands and the south of England see a greater utilisation for offers. This is because they help to balance out bid actions taken further north. These locational differences are having an increasingly significant impact on the revenues batteries earn. Subscribers to Benchmarking Pro GB can read the full article on the Modo platform to find out more about the relationship between revenues and location. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.